It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Okay, basketball fans, with me, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, I'm Ernie Johnson. You're watching 2K Sports, but you know that already. In this game, we'll see the Utah Jazz against the San Antonio Spurs at AT&T Center. Checking out the Spurs, they'd love to get back on a winning track. Seven losses in their last eight games. That is not going to get it done, and they know it. Tonight, we get to watch DeMar DeRozan, one of the more prolific scorers in the game. And Shaq, he's doing it without being a major three-point threat. MRA is always interesting when a guy is getting it done in different ways. MRA stands for mid-range assassin, in case you know. Okay. And excellent on that shot. Well, he draws the defenders off the, dribble, uh, off the double team. His dribble temp penetration is great. What? His hey, it's come a on. Lot of, you're a lot you're of doing D's. so many D's and B's there, man. I can't understand. Well, I just so what's he doing? He's drawing double teams. Uh -huh. And what's his dribble that? penetration for oh, DeMar see, DeRozan? Oh, you almost, you almost, you I almost, almost bobbled that one too. too. Yeah, I almost is. bobbled the dribble. The dribble thing. penetration by DeMar DeRozan. That's yeah. pretty impressive. That's why I was trying to get it all out. Yeah. You know who, a guy who never has any trouble getting any of those words out? Who are you talking about? Kevin Harlan. Kevin oh, Harlan. Oh, y'all got me again. Yeah. I forgot who you're you were forgetting talking. about Kevin Harlan. We've got basketball action at the AT&T Center. We're in San Antonio, Texas, the home of the Spurs, live on 2K Sports. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports as we get set to bring you some terrific NBA action. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry. From the sideline, we'll have David Aldridge. We'll be hearing from him in just a moment. You look at Utah. They feel like they're a better team than their record shows. And in games like this one, it's an opportunity to prove it. They can step it up and make a game of it. We'll see. You know, it's been a struggle on the road for this team. And they're beginning another road trip here tonight. And with tip-off coming up, we've got just enough time to hear from our good friend David Aldridge on the sideline. D.A., take it away. Well, hello there. Spurs coach Greg Popovich made the top five in all-time coaching wins last season. When asked about it, Pop said, it's the most important thing in my life. My grandchildren can take a hike. I don't think he was being serious, guys. <laughs> Great stuff, DA, thanks. Two teams that run offense through the block, Brent. What does playing inside out do to a defense? Well, it's kind of the idea, and we've talked about it, Kevin, the accordion of the defense. Right. You, you press them in and then out, and then at some point, if they don't work themselves back in, there are advantages on, on driving angles. There's advantages of attacking closeouts. And then opportunities open up. And the more of those easy shots go in, it starts to deflate that defense. Boy, you need that center to kind of have his head on a swivel, right? He's got to have that great vision about where guys are. Well, between that and also you being a big polka fan, we'll see how this accordion <laughs> defense plays out tonight. I love the polka. <laughs> now, here's Rubio. And checking out Utah's opening lineup. Ingles outside with favors at power forward. Rubio teams up with Mitchell in the backcourt. And it's Gobert in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Here's Ingles. Cranes it from beyond the arc. Ingles has got his team on the board to start the game for Utah. And always feels good to get on the board first. Yeah, this is going to be a very interesting contest. If you look at the competitive matchups out there tonight, we're in store for a good one. And a hard finish there, guys. Yeah, and only one hand needed for that one. Rubio outside. Pass to Mitchell. Oh, the lob to Gobert. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. And the pass there floated it up to the precise spot it needed to be. And no messing around on the finish. He powers it through. And that was an Unleashed Chaos moment indeed. What a spectacular play. Sponsored by Under Armour Hover Hat. Shot is good off the back rim and in. DeRozan's got his first points of the night. I tell you what, it's, it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this scene. Murray against Mitchell. Rubio misses. Yeah, I think the defense made an impact on that play, making the shooter feel a bit uncomfortable on release. And DeRozan kicks to Murray. 
Up top, Walker. A shot. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Well, shots like that drive coaches batty. I'll be shocked if he attempts that shot again. The pass to Favors. Over Aldridge. Favors can't get it to go. And that's really a function of the offense not working as it should. Yeah, maybe lazy play calling or just going through the motions on that possession. This often leads to a bad shot. Now here's Murray. 14 points from him the last game against the Lakers. And a moment here to check out the numbers for Rubio. Really been a key contributor over the past month. Getting around 12 points a game, 7 assists, and over 2.5 steals. They're loving how he's running the show here. His sensational passing really breathing life into their offense. Something in the coach's playbook here where the schemes fire on all cylinders. When he is in the game, a great conduit for them offensively. He knows where everyone is at all times. Utah shooting their first free throw of the night here. Spurs have gone two or three here to start out the game. DeRozan again tingles. DeRozan passes to Purdy. Inside, knocked away. He had stolen by Ingles. And now Utah, fast break. Mitchell kicks to Favors. Back to Mitchell. Shoots over Walker. And that one hits back iron. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. Murray against Rubio. Here's Pirtle. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Almost perfect in the game to start three of four. Last outing for San Antonio. It was a loss to Los Angeles. Rubio with it. Now guarded by Murray. Here's Gobert. No good that time. Some solid defense from Aldridge. And here's Aldridge. He'll bring it up for the Spurs. Trailing by two. Last time they met was in Salt Lake City, Utah, where they fell to the Jazz. Yeah, they were just wrecked last time they faced this team. And a lot of it was their own undoing. Yeah, those turnovers were inexcusable. So many of their possessions ended with them giving the ball away. It's one thing to make passes, but you need the pass to your own team, not the other one. Here's Mitchell following the score by Jakob Burton. Shot clock at five. It's stolen by DeRozan. And the Spurs pushing it up now. DeRozan leading the charge. A second effort, and Pirtle lays it up and in. Pirtle's got six. And Pirtle is always a threat to come away with offensive rebounds thanks to his amazing timing, especially when the D fails to box him out. Now, here's Mitchell. He had a 33-point outing in their last game against Houston. And even while he was piling up all those points, he still found a way to create chances for his teammates. The assists just kept on coming out quickly than the beautiful execution you can't do it any better well there's running the floor and then there's running the floor with purpose and i love the energy on this play the spurs shooting their first free throw of the game right now looking at who's out there now for the spurs davis bertans checks in for Jakob purtel gay comes in for lamarcus aldrich bellinelli he's shot, checked gentlemen? in for walker and it's mills in for murray Brent, when you won your first championship back in 2005, you were inserted into the starting lineup in the playoffs against the Nuggets. What did that feel like? Well, that was a lot of fun. I, I joked around a lot about I was replacing Manu in the starting lineup. Uh, it was very exciting to have that opportunity, and obviously that team that year going on to do great things. The goal we set out to do was win the championship. Uh, mission accomplished. 
And now, a look at Rudy Gobert here. A wonderful string of games he's put together here lately. First in blocks, fourth in rebounding, and not many players convert opportunities inside as well as he. Top 15 in field goal percentage. He has been a human highlight reel all season long. Clearly the best shot blocker in the game right now, and he has the numbers to back it up. Here's Neto. He kicks it to Udo. Will it go? Lays it in without an inch of room around him. And look at how quick he was to bite on the pump fake. Left his feet way too soon. DeRozan with it. Now guarded by Crowder. In the corner, it's Bellinelli. Misses the three. Jazz trail by three. That's tipped. Stolen by Gay. This is to Bellinelli. Over to the wing. Mills looking it over. Passes it to Bertens. A three-pointer is right on target. Well, this is something he's working on. A good natural leader from the point guard position wants to help out by becoming a better facilitator. Neto finds Crowder to the wing right side. Now, here's Exum. Bellinelli is covering. Here's Gobert, and slam dunk by Gobert. And that dunk reverberated throughout this entire building. It sure did, up high and down hard on the windmill flush. Now, here's Mills. His last outing, he had eight points. Gay passes to Mills. Marder Rosen on the wing, defended by Crowder. No good there off the double clutch. Jazz trail by four. Udo kicks to Crowder. Udo trying to free himself up. And Crowder with the basket on the assist from Udo. Well, he's like a fumbling banker right now, dropping dimes with ease. I like how well he led his teammate on that possession. Here's Mills. And the rejection by Udo. They recover it. Yep, that one goes in there. Man, he's having quite the quarter, converting at a really high percentage. to go bear to the paint Udo kicks to Neto nice ball movement by Utah from past the arc rebound San Antonio they couldn't put the pieces together losing the last matchup with the Lakers and you know what a shame that either team had to lose that game because you had to be proud of the way they battled in it yeah that one sticks with you for a little while they worked so hard to hang in there at the end of that one and force the OT and then to have it slip away had to hurt and the whistle blows it's going to be on DeMar DeRozan that is his first foul of the game Bryn Forbes he's checked in for San Antonio and Utah with a change here too Kyle Korver he's checked in for Rudy Gobert deciding where to go with it. Trying to find Udo. He gets it to him. An emphatic LU jam. And how about the communication between teammates on that alley -oop? And that's what you need to pull that thing off. Ripped away. Drops in the layup for two. Wow, just a two-point Spurs lead. And that's ten straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. Mills passes to Bertens. Kicks it to Bellinello. Back to Bertens. Unloads from 13. That shot off the mark. And Utah the other way now. To the middle. And Udo with the stuff. And already you're seeing great execution from both teams. Yeah, lots of points early in the game plans on both sides, at least offensively, working to perfection. Here is Forbes after the basket by Utah. In the corner, it's Bellinelli. Gay in the corner. Clock is at three. And yep, finally drops after rolling around the rim. Well, he's dialed in right now in the in-between game. I'd love to see Rudy Gay capitalize there. 
And Marco Bellinelli, a player who has always been able to light it up from outside. And, and Belly has been on so many teams in his career, but is always a wanted commodity due to his shooting. Very quick and easy way to add outside shooting to a team. He can honestly play a long time just on how badly teams need shooting in our league. Here is Forbes after Udo's basket. Rebounded by Korver. Well, I like the shot selection. I don't like the shot result. Won't happen much. Puts it up. And again, it's Utah. Nice pass there to set that basket up. San Antonio's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Mills with it, now defended by Exum. And that one's good by Gay. Well, you can't give Rudy Gay that type of look. He's going to knock that down more often than not. And it's Neto with the ball. He'll bring it up for Utah. Outside for Korver. Gets the front of the rim and out. And listen, you can't design a play any better to get a look that good. Just couldn't knock it down. Uh, the best players know that is going to happen, and you just can't let it get into your head. It's a shot that you want to take. Now here's Gay. Kyle Korver missing his last shot. Six to shoot. Gay drives in. Banked in off the glass. Gay's got eight. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. Utah calls timeout. Tough loss coming against the Rockets in the last game they played. I mean, frustrating when missed free throws become contagious. Really the Achilles heel in that one. Yeah, you try to put up these scoring runs, and, and it hurts when you all of a sudden just give away free points from the free throw line. LaMarcus well, Aldridge has checked in for Patty Mills. Utah also making some changes. Mitchell, he's checked in for Exum. And Ricky Rubio is subbed in for Raul Neto. Rubio left side. There's the dish to Udo. Crowder from outside. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start. Two for two. You know, at least get a hand up. It's not too much to ask from a coaching staff. Just not intimidating defense at all on that possession. Now here's Aldridge. He's coming off a 25-point game against the Lakers. It felt like in that game, too, he was a man on a mission defensively. Finishing up with four steals is an impressive feat. And you could tell, takes pride in that part of the game. Looking at who's out there now for the Spurs. Hurdle is checked in for Davis Bertans. And Walker subbed in for Bellinelli. And Greg, right out of the gate, Donovan Mitchell seemed like a veteran more than a rookie. I mean, his professionalism was one of the first things Ru Ricky Rubio noticed about Mitchell. Father played minor league baseball, knows what it takes to succeed in professional sports. And you can just see it in his approach to practice and his commitment to improving his game. Mitchell was already the surprise of that 2017 draft, and I don't think there's any question he's destined to be a star. That free throw, no good. And the second free throw, good. Brent, we have bigs playing a different kind of game in the NBA now. It feels like skill is taking over, and even last year in the playoffs, so much talk for us about the idea of not being able to play a big center, right? Not being able to play a post-up center or a, a rim-protecting center. These players have to be mobile. They have to be able to set screens and roll down the lane, and they have to be able to switch out, most importantly, defensively to guard the most talented scorers in the league. So the center position is now becoming a more skilled position where teams take their best four man and slide them down to the five, a la a Draymond Green or sometimes Giannis with Milwaukee to make sure that they can make the most impact while they're on the floor. Good example. And already they've taken out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. That's to Purdy. And it's stolen by Ricky Rubio. Crowder kicks to Mitchell. Shoots over Walker. And there's Mitchell. That's good on the assist from Crowder. And the Jazz lead by two. San Antonio's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. 29 seconds left in the first quarter. Now here's Udo. He's got eight. Rubio. And he makes good on the layup. Now it's a four-point Jazz lead. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. 
Here is Forbes, covered by Rubio. And Forbes kicks to Aldridge. Over you know. Aldridge's shot is good. Aldridge has got six. So difficult to defend Aldridge inside. He can go around you or shoot over you, pretty much whatever he wants to do. We've got more in store for you right after this. During his tenure in Utah, Coach Quinn Snyder has quickly earned the appreciation of his players, including Rudy Gobert. It's very key to have a coach like that. He really uh, takes everything, you know, uh, with heart, and he wants us to be the best defensive team in the league, as I do. And I think uh, when the coach and the players are on the same page, usually, you know, good things happen. Coach Snyder doing a terrific job with his team. Just a great tactician, and, and he's clearly got his guys buying in to his message. And this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter, and we'll see what happens here in the second. And the guys, what's your take on Utah so far? I mean, they're winning the turnover battle, and, and oftentimes that can swing things your way. Well, they're taking care of the ball. They're attacking on defense, and this has them out to a big lead after one. Gay is the three with Aldridge at the four. Then there's Murray. Then there's Pirtle. And it's Walker in at the two guard. So that's who San Antonio starts the second with. Murray against Rubio. Murray kicks to Pirtle. From 13. Second chance shot. And with that, the Utah lead is cut down to just two points in the bucket for Murray. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Mitchell dishes to Favors. From the arc. Rebounded by the Spurs. Uh, more good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. The Jazz have gone two for three at the foul line in this game. Yeah, looking over their percentage on the season, I think they will be thrilled with the number in terms of their free throw percentage, 79. And the Spurs making a change here. DeRozan's checked in. And a switcher also for Utah. Go Bears checked in. Here's DeRozan. 32 points for him last game against the Lakers. And also in that one, he had the opposition on pins and needles on the defensive end of the floor, recording four steals that night on his way to an overall stellar game. <laughs> and I really thought he was going to send that shot the other way, but, but at least he forces the miss. Well, just good timing on his part. Anytime the shooter has to adjust, the defense wins. Spurs trail by seven. Brent for as long as Coach Popovich has been at the top of this game. What really is there left to say? I don't think there's much more you say on a professional level, uh, but there's a lot to be said about the compassion and the things that Pop has done on a personal level for years behind the scenes, championing guys on his staff, supporting not only current players, but former players on his team. The interesting thing for Pop the last couple of years is just how outspoken he's been in terms of the equality not just around the NBA, but around our nation and some of the statements he's made that have garnered a lot of political attention. Greg Popovich not afraid to express some of the things that maybe deep down we all believe in. Now here's Favors. Seven-point game, the biggest lead in the game. Gobert can't hit. And you got to give him credit there. Great effort to contest that shot. Well, I love the fact that they put the security system on their house, protecting the paint there. Walker against Mitchell. Walker the pass to Murray. Here's DeRozan. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. Utah leading by seven. 
to the inside. Ingles can't get it to go. I know it's physically impossible, but he's got to be kicking himself. He knows he's got to make those. And the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. And while we have a moment, let's check the stats for DeRozan. He's been fantastic over the last 10 games or so. Second in scoring. And he's among the top 20 free throw shooters in the league. Doesn't waste many opportunities at the line. And what he's doing right now, carving up defensive schemes at will. Second best score in the league. It's just a marvelous thing to watch and appreciate. Now here's Favors. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against Houston. Well, I think he was especially impressive on the glass. The defense had no idea what to do with him. Mitchell's shot is good. Yeah, not a good idea to leave him alone. He'll make you pay for that mid-range. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Murray against Rubio. Murray kicks to Pirtle. Five on the clock. That's his fourth basket of the game, and he's only taken four shots off to a good start. When Pearl gets the rock deep inside, the D is toast. Can't allow him to get comfortable from there. Now here's Gobert. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against Houston. And he also positioned himself perfectly to grab all those rebounds, guys. Can't forget about the fundamentals. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, LaMarcus Aldridge and the Spurs got through some tension in their relationship early on. Now, Greg Popovich said, it became apparent that it really was me. He'd been in the league for nine years. I'm not going to turn him into some other player. That was just silly. So we took care of it, and he's been fantastic. Guys? That's why Pop is the best in the business, D.A. He's always going to figure it out. Thanks. And that one falls for favors. Let's talk about team defense, Brent. To develop trust, it seems like guys have got to communicate on the floor. I talk to my friends often who ask me about playing an NBA game and playing defense. They first start with saying that I didn't play any, but the second They're wrong. Thing, the second they thing that we wrong. get, but the second thing we get to, <laughs> Kevin, is talking about really how intricate good defenses can be. You talk about communication. That's one thing, but. Throughout the course of the season, you build so much sweat equity on defense and trust by knowing that somebody's going to be behind you, hearing that voice consistently, but positions on the floor where you almost develop play sets as a defensive team. Now, when you reach that level, that's the upper echelon, but that's when it really gets fun to be down on that end, to shut a team down, to keep a crowd quiet. Defense always begins with great communication. So many things rotations and playing angles and and having the guy in back you know what you can do well what you can't do well if you're ahead of him well that Kevin and also great teams who are adaptable to make changes on the fly all of a sudden a dead ball coach calls out a different coverage you want to mess up the team's rhythm on the other end and five guys they snap to it and can carry out that defensive assignment in one play call that's great defense here's Neto following the score by DeMar DeRozan and that one's good by Favors. Favors has got his third bucket of the night. And, and I like the fact that he really was unfazed by that scoreless first quarter. And now you can see him getting into a rhythm. Here's Neto. And he converts the layup. And now it's a 12-point Utah lead. And so it's Mills who will bring it up for the San Antonio Spurs. Next matchup, they'll be home against the Suns. for three that one no good and Utah the other way now Exum with it he's still scoreless so far in this one sinks the three-pointer and the Jazz lead by 15 and I don't care how far from the bucket he is you've got to have a man on him he's just too good from deep now here's Mills to the middle to stop the run to Rosen. 
A second chance effort, and he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Bergheim's got five now. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. Exum finds Neto. Out to the right wing. Gobert with the bounce pass. And the call will be against LaMarcus Aldridge. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. And that's his fourth foul. And we're not even at halftime. That is going to limit his playing time and his aggressiveness the rest of the game. Rudy Gaze checked in for LaMarcus Aldridge. And Utah with a change here, too. Crowder, he's checked in for Joe Ingles. Now here's Gobert. They look to him for part of their offensive attack. Right now, he averages nearly 12 points a game. Up by a bunch. He's still pushing the action, trying to impose his will. Well, collectively, they've done it tonight here. A passionate performance from the squad. Here's Gay. Derek Favors making his last shot. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Gay. Let's take a look at the players that have been grabbing rebounds in bunches to lead the NBA over the last 10 games. Fourth, Rudy Gobert. When it comes to rebounding, it, it's been a stupendous stretch for him. He's been using his body and strength so effectively. Jazz leading by 15. Here's Neto. And Gobert kicks to Neto. Favors dishes to Crowder. Bear down low. A second chance effort. Misses off the left iron. Yeah, and something we always talk about, though, shot selection. Well, being aggressive is one thing, but aggression with control is another. And you need both elements working together. Coaching staff high-fiving themselves there, watching that team move the ball around, doing whatever is best for the team. Here's Neto. He dishes it to Crowder. Gay with the block. Now using his length well on defense, Rudy Gay working hard, swats that one away. And it's DeRozan missing. Look, if they want any shot at winning this game, he has to be better out there. And Rudy Gay, Greg, has always been a fantastic scorer since he came into the NBA. And, and, and Gay doesn't do as much scoring as he once did, but, but he has become more efficient. Do, doesn't have plays ran for him, gets looks through his instinct and as he's gotten older Gay has become even more crafty with how he scores the Jazz have gone four for five from the charity stripe in this one up to now San Antonio making a switch here Forbes checked in the Jazz also changing it up Udo comes in for Gobert and it's Corver in for Derek Favors The season now starting to take shape, Brent. We have a better idea of who the real championship contenders might be. There seem to be a lot of familiar faces. Ken. I agree. Uh, yeah, always. But always, that's okay. I like that. Yeah, I, I do too. Because in the beginning of the year, we have to do those radio shows and make predictions. <laughs> Some of our predictions are coming true. Yes. Thank goodness. I know. We look smart, don't we? Or I you, don't know about you that. Know, you look <laughs> smart. I don't. You look smart. <laughs> Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. Around the world, Brent, we've seen the NBA take a role in helping youngsters learn to play the game of basketball the right way. So incredible what Basketball Without Borders has done with uh, the NBA junior program expanding itself. Last year in Treviso for the first time, the NBA doing a, a combine for EuroLeague players so they can start a database of, of the older professional, younger professional players playing overseas. It's a global game. Adam Silver is doing a remarkable job of promoting the game, and we're in a great place, Kevin. Now, here's DeRozan. Nine points in the game so far. Gay kicks to Mills. Six on the shot clock, and it's stolen by Ricky Rubio. This game is going to get even more out of hand unless they start valuing the basketball. DeRozan against Corver. 
now DeRozan. His scoring average of 30 points a game speaks volumes about the damage he's capable of doing whenever he gets the hot hand. And it's Rubio that time on the assist from Crowder. Crowder's got three assists now in this one. Spurs trail by 18. Mills passes to Bertens. He kicks to Forbes. It's Gay on the wing. Defended by Crowder. And you got to fight through things like this right now. His team needs him to shoot better. He's just had a tough quarter. There's the pass to Udo. Nice ball movement by Utah. Now, here's Exum. Defense right on him. Horver, good. And good passing. Setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. And it's Mills with the ball for the Spurs. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Gay left side. Passes it to Mills. Here's Forbes. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assist. Forbes has got his first three points of the game. And when the D is this non-existent, it's pretty easy for shooters. Fishing with dynamite. Crowder finds Rubio. It drops for his third basket. He's missed only one shot. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. Here is Forbes, currently averaging almost six points a game. Two open that time, made it look too easy. Yeah, that's two straight three-pointers they've allowed. Utah leading by 16. Rubio looking around. Pass to Crowder. Back to Rubio. Just five to shoot. Inside, Corver. Right through the D for the layup. Corver's got his third basket of the night. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. And Ricky Rubio might be one of the most unselfish players in the league and not only for his passing and how much he enjoys piling up assists but how he does a great job adjusting to what the team needs him to do and, and not worrying about his own game and some changes here for the Spurs Jakob Pertles check in for Bertinus Walker comes in for DeMar DeRozan and Murray subbed in for Patty Mills Mitchell he's checked in for Utah Corver kicks to Mitchell no good on the shot. A bit long that time. And for Rubio, who has been in the eye of the media for so long, Greggy's always been unselfish. We've always seen that in his style of play. You're right, Kevin. You've always been able to see that with Rubio's game. Great at making quick reads, seeing passes before they develop. Out of bounds. I mean, he can see who's open and who's going to be open before he even catches a pass. Just four to shoot. From deep three-point range. Just doesn't seem to have it here in the second quarter. Hey, that's good. You can't be frustrated at him tonight. He's doing his job. I'd like to see his guys step up a little more. Count it. That's seven points for Jay Crowder. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Gay outside. Here is Forbes, covered by Mitchell. Pass to Murray. And there's the foul on Jay Crowder. That's foul number two for him. Well, there are good fouls, and then there's those fouls. That's not, not a good one. Limits himself on defense, and he can't nearly be as physical for the rest of the period. 20 seconds left now here in the second. And Walker kicks to Murray. Lock at six. Here's Pirtle. Rubio with the rebound. And you got to give him credit there. Great effort to contest that shot. Well, I love the fact that they put the security system on their house, protecting the paint there. It's been all about Derek Favors for the Utah Jazz. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him.
And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Greg Popovich. Pop, what do you think was the main issue during the first half? Uh, we didn't make shots. Thank you for that insightful analysis, Coach. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. So far, a pretty uh, lopsided game, but still one half to play. I'm Ernie Johnson, joined by Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Utah found themselves in a close game in the first. At the end of the period, they held a two-point lead. They just exploded in the second quarter, grabbing the momentum and running with it. Basket after basket, and they played stingy defense. Now they've got a halftime lead that's going to be very difficult to erase. And, uh, Kenny, what'd you see out there from the Jazz? In terms of their offensive performance, that was a very well-played half of basketball. Good ball movement off the ball, hard screens being set, and they found the guy for the open look. That's how they were able to shoot such a tremendous percentage from the field. With that fluid, efficient offense, they'll be tough to catch in the second half. Shaq, let's get your thoughts on San Antonio. Not pretty to watch how they get torched in the low post, Ernie. When they were playing defense in the post, you know me, Ernie. Barbecue chicken alert, barbecue chicken alert. This team is going to have to up the pressure, play more physical in the second half, start a fight, throw some bowls, let's go. And now with the second half about to get underway, let's send you back courtside. See everybody with Kevin Harlan. A spectacular aerial shot of downtown San Antonio, Texas. The Tower Life Building, front and center. We welcome you back. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Rudy Gay having a dominant impact in this game. Yeah, and through two quarters, he's been lights out, and you know he's going to look to add to those totals. And defensively, hard to force him out of the rhythm at this point because he has a number of ways with which he can beat you. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the second half of basketball. And so in the game for the Jazz, Favors and Gobert, the tough pair inside. Mitchell and Ingles are out on the wing. And it's Rubio in at the one. Now here's Murray. Left side, DeRozan. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. DeRozan's got the first bucket of the third here for San Antonio. Walker against Mitchell. The feet to Favors. Kicks it to Rubio. Ingles in the corner from deep cans it from downtown Ingles has got 11 points the assist totals Kevin just continue to grow they're way ahead in that category ball movement has been flawless now here's Murray and he feeds it to Gay down low here's DeRozan rebound Utah and the shots just continue to say no in terms of falling. Nice ball movement by Utah. Here's Mitchell on the wing. Ingle shoots over DeRozan. Nice D from DeRozan. Spurs trail by 19. Murray outside. Gay outside. Pirtle kicks to Murray. To the paint. Here's DeRozan. Gobert with the block. They get it back. Second shot opportunity. And misses it off the right side of the rim. I'm just wondering why the defense is laying off. Luckily, they didn't pay for their mistake. Mitchell passes to Rubio. Favors against Gay. On the wing, Mitchell. And Utah, another three. 
And he can smell blood in the water. Excellent finish. Yeah, when your opponent's down and frustrated, this is when you can turn it up. Now here is Pirtle. Eight points for him. Knocked away. And it's out of bounds. The Spurs able to retain possession here. Here we get a moment now to view the league's stingiest defenses. In third, the Jazz. This is a team that takes pride on the defensive side of the floor. I mean, they play hard and time they out, play out. together. They are a tough group to score on. San Antonio calls timeout. And I like this timeout. You, you're getting terrible rim protection right now. Well, you got to ask your team to give you a little bit more effort because there's just not a lot of fire on the defensive end. LaMarcus Aldridge, he's checked in for San Antonio. All right, a chance to take a look at some stats for Murray. He's been in good form here the last few weeks. Getting around 12 points a game, seven assists, and just over two steals. And he's a real threat defensively. You look at his steals during this stretch, always lurking for the smallest mistake. And he's causing a lot of those mistakes, too. He's just harassing you 94 feet and does not give you an inch. And the Jazz call time here. And, Kevin, he saw his, his guys just a little sluggish out there. Oftentimes, a timeout like this allows you to kind of just reset. And now we get a chance to check out Donovan Mitchell. Just an incredible month of basketball. Seventh in scoring. And he's as opportunistic as anybody defensively, ranking among the top 15 league-wide in steals per game. And you noted it. His points per game average is unreal right now. He's literally propping up the team's offense, scoring whenever they need him to. Ingles can't get it to go. Not pretty. You just got to shake off a miss like that. Yes, that goes in. Ingles has got five points now this quarter. That's some good interior passing, and that's how you move it on the inside. And here is Murray. He's a good contributor to his team, averaging about 10 and a half points a game. They could use a bucket. Aldridge, the pass to Pirtle. Gobert pulls it in. Gobert's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Yeah, the offense scuffling a bit to start this second half. Only one for the first five. Puts it up from 12. <laughs> And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And for so long, it seems Derek Favors had played in a crowded front two court, shots, but gentlemen. still can get the job done. And, and Favors has two. shown his versatility and impact in spot minutes his whole career. Every team can use a player like Favors. He just eats up space inside and can play that tough D. Offensively, I think he'd like to get back to where he was around 2015, and hopefully he'll find Take the chances. Break. To do Two so. shots. That free throw missing. And the Spurs with some changes. Bertinus comes in for LaMarcus Aldridge. And it's Bellinelli in for Walker. Good on the second free throw. Now here's Murray. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Well, guys, the Jazz had to weather the loss of Gordon Hayward, so they need to play together to have success. Coach Quinn Snyder said, we expect guys to put the team in front of themselves and support each other. Our strength isn't in one guy. We need each other. Kevin? David, one thing for sure, they come to play almost every game. Thank you. And so it's Utah here with the ball. After the basket by San Antonio. And that one's good by Favors. Yeah, great outside shooting, really fueling this run. San Antonio's gone 3-7 of seven tonight from three-point territory. And he makes good on the layup. Rubio's got eight points. And I think that play sort of sums up what we've seen tonight just simply being outplayed both sides of the ball smart basketball defensively turning into easy points go bear with the block but they recover it 
Here's Pirtle. Utah with the rebound. Gobert's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Mitchell wide open. That's in. Coming off an assist from Rubio. Rubio's got his eighth assist here tonight. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. And Bellinelli kicks to DeRozan. The good-looking shot from the wing. 13 points in the game. That's a gorgeous assist. Outstanding at finding his guys in the spots where they want the basketball. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on DeMar DeRozan. That's foul number two for him. A different look now for San Antonio. Cunningham, he's checked in for Perk. And Derek White subbed in for DeJounte Murray. Royce O'Neal's checked in for Utah. Raul Neto comes in for Ricky Rubio. Here's Mitchell. He's got 14. Out to the wing. Stolen away. White with it. He kicks it to Bellinelli. No good on the three. You can't miss those, but even the best do on occasion. Favors. And since they've come out of halftime, they've been extremely poised and very efficient. Yeah, I think they have been winning the battle of shot selection here in the second half, and that's led to an excellent shooting percentage from the field. For Utah, they have shot 75% at the stripe, 6 of 8. Mills, he's checked in for the Spurs. Utah also making some changes. Jay Crowder's checked in for Gobert. And it's Dante Exum in for Donovan Mitchell. And that one misses. And missing opportunities here to extend that lead at the free throw line this half. A three-pointer is right on target. For all the strides he's made in other parts of his game, Mills remains at his heart a dead-eye three-point shooter. Here is Favors following the three-pointer by San Antonio. Back to Neto to the paint tries from 10 looking for Crowder he gets it there launches a three rebound San Antonio Mills with it now defended by Exum Bellinelli for three it's rebounded by Neto the Jazz on offense they're on a 19 to 7 run it's good and nicely done running the floor well then attacking the rim uh, the exclamation point in transition with the high percentage finish. And White kicks to Bertans. The pass to Bellinelli. Feeds it to Cunningham. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. That's just superb work from Dante Cunningham, pounding his way down in the paint and getting the easy look. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And not the guy you want to see at the line too often. Season numbers has him in the bottom tier of the league. Quincy Pondexter, he's checked in for the Spurs. Bryn Forbes comes in for White. Utah also making some changes. Udo comes in for Derek Favors. And it's Corver in for Royce O'Neal. Free throw no good for Cunningham. Well, the ageless wonder Kyle Corver is still such a vital part of the offense. A blur on offense constantly moving around to try to find an opening at the three-point line. And sometimes that pulls defenders away and opens up some more opportunities. And that's out of bounds. San Antonio will retain possession. And a look now at San Antonio's upcoming schedule. On Tuesday, they'll go up against Devin Booker and the Phoenix Suns. Then on Thursday, they'll be playing against Lou Williams and the Los Angeles Clippers. And for that game against the Bulls, there aren't many other meetings that are as evenly matched as this one. Both teams can give and take punches, and this one, I think, is going to come down to the wire. For Corver, he continues to climb the ranks of all-time three-pointers made. Well, Kyle last year passed the great Paul Pierce of the Boston Celtics, and Corver is not close to being done. In the all-time rankings, Kevin, interestingly enough, he has the least amount of games and total attempts of everyone in the top five. That's some rarefied air. Really surprising to see the huge edge they have in rebounds, given what the scoreboard says. And Forbes kicks to Bertans. Basket counts. 
Bergeron's got seven points. This is where you want the shots to come from deep inside the paint and high percentage opportunities. And so it's Neto with the ball. He'll bring it up for Utah. Passes to Corp. Outside Crowder. Here's Neto. That's good. He's five for nine. Here is Forbes. Pass to Cunningham. It's stolen by Corver. And now the fast break Exum with the ball. And he can't bank that one in. And Mills kicks to Forbes. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. Well, the defense looked lost there. Get out your compass. No excuses. You got to guard the perimeter. Neto surveying the floor. Now, here's Udo. Defense is right there. And it's Quincy Pondexter with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. A different look now for San Antonio. LaMarcus Aldridge is checked in for Davis Bertans. Gay comes in for Cunningham. And Walker subbed in for Quincy Pondexter. Mitchell, he's checked in for Utah. Ricky Rubio comes in for Raul Neto. And Utah has possession. Crowder. Good work defensively by Gay. The defense was in the area, but not really effective. He has to put away this layup. Count the basket. Walker's got his first basket of the night. Now Rubio. He's got eight. Knocked loose, and it's out of bounds. Last touch by Aldridge. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out west. Already we're in December. Taking a look at San Antonio. They were hoping to get off to a better start to the season. Things are still early, so they still may have a chance. And, of course, the Utah Jazz, three spots below. And, and seeing where Utah is, nobody was calling on them to kind of set the world on fire. But, but even those modest expectations have yet to be realized. Yep, any glimmers of hope that may have been there early for them have all just disappeared at this point. It's looking more and more like a season that will not end well for this team. And there's the foul on Jay Crowder. That's his fourth foul of the contest. Utah's on defense. Count that bucket. 14 points for Gay. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Right side, Bradley. Pass to Niang. And checking out some numbers for Crowder. His last 10 games, he's averaging seven points a game, four rebounds, and two assists. And guys, no question, he's a guy with some talent. But, but honestly, even he'd like to see those numbers improve. From all the whispers that Gentlemen, we've heard, he's been shots. working hard two on shots. his game. It just has not showed up yet in the box score. And the first one at the line is good. DeMar DeRozan, he's checked in for Bryn Forbes. Gobert, he's checked in for Utah. So he hits one of two from the strike. San Antonio's gone six of 12 from outside. A very nice 50% mark shooting the three ball well. And that one, good. DeRozan's got six here in this quarter. And you want to talk about high volume scores. Just look at what DeRozan's doing tonight. He's been on a mission, putting his mark on this game in a big way. Now here's Gobert. Back to Rubio. From outside the arc. DeMar DeRozan grabs the board. DeRozan's got six rebounds in the game. And the foul called on Donovan Mitchell. That's his first foul. The Spurs making a switch here. 
Murray's checked in, and Utah with a change here, too. Ingles is checked in. San Antonio's gone three of five with the long ball since entering the second half. The Spurs have shot two free throws, and they're one of two so far. First one falls for him. And so Murray nails both of them. Jazz leading by 20. Rubio outside. Ingles in the corner. Back to Rubio. Five on the clock. Ingles dishes to Rubio. San Antonio with the rebound. Murray's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Took him no time at all on that one. Walker's got five points now in the quarter. There's just no excuse to leave someone that wide open. Communication breakdown. Outside Crowder. Inside. Here's Gobert. And the layup's good off the glass. Gobert's got six. And where's the fight defensively? I mean, you know you need stops to stop the bleeding. Yeah, down by double digits, failing to shut down the lane. It has been a rough night. Offensive rebound. Aldridge lays it up and in on the nice reverse. Eight points for him. How about the stretch arms there of Aldridge? Awesome at using those to gobble up a second chance opportunity. Mitchell against Walker. Mitchell outside. Dishes it to Crowder. Over game. And Crowder with the basket on the assist by Mitchell. Mitchell's got four assists now tonight. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. Jazz lead by 19. Live from the AT&T Center in San Antonio, you're watching 2K Sports. And now a sneak peek into the huddle with Coach Quinn Snyder. Let's just keep playing with the same intensity, okay? On misses, you guys really run in space. Anyone can bring it. Well, he's trying to get them to maintain that edge right now. And, and solid advice from Coach Snyder, wanting his squad to remain engaged. Watch for Rubio! And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Gang and Aldridge are up front. Then it's DeRozan, then there's Murray, and it's Walker in at the shooting guard position. That's the San Antonio five. Murray kicks to Gay. Takes a shot at the elbow, and the Spurs scoring again. Well, whether he's wide open or a hand in his face, Aldridge is built to rack up points with a jump shot. There's the pass to Gobert. Jazz passing it around. And it's off the back rim. No good. Spurs trail by 19. Murray outside. Kicks to Walker. Rejected by Crowder. Here's Mitchell. Makes it off the glass. Mitchell's got 10 points here in the second half. Defensively, this is what you know. He's coming off a hot game and looking to keep it rolling. And you could try to key in on him, but that's tough. They run plays that routinely give him makeable looks. 
And I do so enjoy watching a bounce pass executed that perfectly. Utah calls timeout. Well, last season, a, a, a tough one for Crowder. It was moved from Boston to Cleveland and then moved again over to Utah at the deadline. Also struggled mightily with his shot and, and, and just had a down year. Pirtle, he is checked in for the Spurs. And Utah also making a switch. Favors is checked in. Jazz leading by 19. Hey, watch Ricky, watch Ricky. Fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. Back to Rubio. That shot misses. Aldridge with some nice deep. And with Crowder, his struggles were part of why Cleveland gave up on him so easily. And you wonder who the real Jay Crowder is. The, the one we saw in Cleveland or, or the one we saw in Boston. My guess is somewhere in the middle. I think his defense should pick back up and we know that he can be a better scorer than he has shown the last calendar year. And that's the classic one-two punch right there. I mean, nice steal. And then how about the elevation, Kevin, on the finish? And, Greg, nothing spurs some quick offense like a great play defensively. Well, it fires up your teammates and the fans when you make plays like that out in the open court and explosive. One shot, find the lane. That's good from DeRozan. And last summer, after nine terrific seasons in Toronto, DeMar DeRozan traded to San Antonio. And, and guys, you have to feel for the sudden change for DeRozan. Gave Toronto some of their best years. At the same time, happy that DeRozan has gone to an organization that has proven success over the years. Really surprising to see the huge edge they have in rebounds, given what the scoreboard says. Aldridge finds DeRozan. And here is Aldrich. Bellinelli passes to DeRozan. Over Mitchell. DeRozan's shot is off. Utah leading by 16. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway. So a three-point play chance for him. One shot. Free throw drops for Mitchell. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here, we're just over two and a half minutes into it. They get a hand on it. DeRozan passes to Aldridge. And the rejection by Favors. And he gets it to go. That's 12 points for Aldridge. So it's Utah now. They lead by 17. Here's Mitchell. No good off the front iron. San Antonio's gone downtown 13 times in this game, and they're just over 50%. 7 of 13 on threes. I tell you what, I'd settle for having as many points in this game as he has rebounds. And he's just working and working and working tireless. Rubio. Another miss by Utah. And Ricky Rubio gets the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. The Spurs have gone four of eight in this fourth quarter, shooting an even 50% from the field. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by. On the wing, Bellinelli. Back to Aldridge. And there's the foul. It'll go on Joe Ingles. That's his first foul. Here's Aldridge. It falls for his seventh bucket of the contest. He's seven for nine. And look at how quick he was to bite on the pump fake. Left his feet way too soon. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Pass to Bellinelli. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assists. Obviously a mix-up defensively on that possession. Here is Rubio. Rubio. 
to the inside. And slam dunk by Gobert. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Tries from seven. And he comes up with the deuce. And that's 20 points for DeMar DeRozan. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And Rubio kicks to Mitchell. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Aldridge. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. Bertinus, he's jacked in for LaMarcus Aldridge. Shooting two. The first one falls. Kyle Corver, he's checked in for Joe Ingles. Both good from the line that time. Kevin, these are easy points. Remember, free throws. Spurs trail by 15. And it's out of bounds. The Spurs able to retain possession here. Here's DeRozan. Knocked loose. It's stolen by Gobert. Last break. Here come the Jazz. And Derek Favors with the slam. And showing a good nose for the ball there. Picks it clean. Then he's off to the races. And a good decision on the move. Too often we see teams have this kind of opportunity and fail to convert. And a tremendous Unleash Chaos replay coming to you courtesy of Under Armour Hover Havoc. Bertans kicks to Pirtle. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's DeRozan. No good on that one. And Utah the other way now. Corver gets a wide open look. Nailed from three point land. And the Jazz lead by 20. And uh, hey, that's Corver's go to. As soon as he catches that ball right there, it's going right up. Gotta love that approach. Bertinus, the pass to Purdue. Poke loose. Here's Murray. Yep, it counts. Commending the unselfish play there. What vision on that pass. So it's Rubio bringing it up for Utah. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Marco Bellinelli. And that'll be his third foul so far. Spurs making a switch here. Walker's checked in. Tipped away. Stolen by Walker. Up top to Rosen. Guarded by Korber. To the paint. Mitchell kicks to Gobert. Rebounded by the Spurs. Murray's got six rebounds now in the game. Outside to Rosen. Got a piece of it. And stolen by Favors. And out of bounds as San Antonio gains possession. Spurs trail by 18. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play. Going to the line for one. This guy is looking for some life preservers. He needs more help. He's playing well, but his teammates have to pick up the slack here. And Utah making a change here. Crowder's checked in. Shooting one. And 
And that free throw good from DeRozan. And one item that DeRozan never seems to get enough credit for is his passing, Greg. He is a terrific playmaker. Ever since DeRozan became a perennial all-star, his passing has improved. I mean, he keeps his head up even while attacking with the ball. Great awareness for where his teammates are in terms of relation to his attack after a double team. The kick out to Walker. Trains the three-pointer. And when Pirtle sees one of his guys wide open, he whips it his way. He's all for doing what's best for the team. Rubio outside. Down low. Mitchell passes to Crowder. Mitchell against Walker. And it's Mitchell missing. Spurs trail by 12. Walker taking his time here. Bertans kicks to Pirtle. Spurs passing it around. Lock at six. The kick out to Walker. This one for three. Favors with the rebound. Favors got four rebounds now tonight. Here's Gobert. And slam dunk by Gobert. And he's now got the double-double. Ten points and 12 rebounds. And just tacks a few more points onto their lead with the tomahawk. Ah, that's bringing it down hard. Now here is Pirtle. Defended by Gobert. Back to Bertans. Shot clock at six. Nice open look, but it's no good. Utah leading by 14. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jakob Pirtle. That's his first foul. Rudy Gaze checked in for San Antonio. Here's Crowder. And Favors kicks to Mitchell. Rebounded by the Spurs. And another steal for him. And that's his sixth steal of the night. Imposing his will at the defensive end. Now here's Gobert. Defense right on him. Stolen by Walker. DeRozan passes to Murray. Pirtle kicks to Walker. And Derek Favors pulls it down. Favors has got his fifth rebound in this one. Inside, Rubio. That's the sixth make from the field. He's taken nine shots and missed but three. That's good passing down low. He's good at working the ball deep into the post. Time called here. The Spurs Donovan, decide Donovan. to talk it over. Donovan Mitchell really making a difference here. Uh, so far, he is just destroying their will. It feels like he can get any shot he wants once he crosses half court. And now we've got a moment for our Jordan player of the game, Ricky Rubio. He's put on a shooting exhibition for us here tonight. He's missed a couple along the way, but it sure seems like everything's been falling for him. The only way to keep him from converting is to keep the ball out of his hands. Without his heroics here tonight, this could have been a second straight loss for them. But he was sensational, and instead of a losing streak, he may have them headed in the opposite direction now. Murray right side over Mitchell. Murray, no good. You can see how clued in the defense is to take away those mid-range shots and challenge. Solid at getting a hand up in the face of the scorers. And Rubio kicks to Ingles. Rubio against Murray. Back to Ingles. Shot clock at six. And a miss there on the triple. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. But he stays with it. What muscle from Pirtle bullying the D with his interior game. Utah leading by 14. Bobs it up for Favors, and Derek Favors with the slam. Absolutely the prettiest play in basketball executed to perfection. I don't think you'd get an argument there. Everybody loves the alley-oop. 
Well, they could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Murray, good. I like that recognition. Effortlessly getting his teammate the ball in a spot where he knows he can do something with it. Mitchell kicks the favors. Rubio against Murray. Deft touch on the alley-oop. And the Jazz lead by 16. And guys, what we saw here tonight is one side having everything going for them. Huge margin of victory for Utah. You know, a team can have a great shooting night without getting a lot of assists, but tonight they had both. Yeah, and listen, you only get the assist if the guy you give it to makes the shot. So a lot of assists will up your field goal percentage, but this is a great team effort by everyone. And an important milestone for them tonight as they pick up win number 10. And in a three-game season series, they take the first two, and certainly they've had the edge in this matchup. A very solid win indeed. And when you check out the box score, there were some great numbers for Ricky Rubio. He affected the game so much with the way he was able to come out and get steals and extra possessions for his team. And Walker kicks to Burjons. A solo fast break. Here's Mitchell. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls, and some changes here for the Spurs. Bellinelli, he's checked in for Davis Bertans. Bryn Forbes comes in for Walker. And it's Mills in for DeJounte Murray. And Mitchell drops them both. 41 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Mills with it. Now defended by Mitchell. And good that time. Phenomenal use of the body there to free himself up from the defender and get a clean look at the basket. Hey, watch Ricky. Watch Ricky. Rubio, Rubio, Rubio. He kicks it to Favors. On the wing, Ingles. Bellinelli is covering. Shot clock at six. And he gets the bucket. And the Jazz lead by 21. And saving their best for last. Tremendous run here to seal the win. And you could just see everything coming together like a perfect storm. And they just rolled on through. And so it's Utah easily grabbing the win. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. Hey, that's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. With Dante Exum, Dante, still a young guy in this league. What do you want to focus on with your development? Um, you know, I think it's just staying the defensive end. You know, sometimes in the heat of the play, you kind of lose sight of it. And it's just about staying in there and just helping your teammates out. So, A very young guy on a very good team. Thank you, Dante. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And that about wraps it up for Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.